Front Lines Fuel of War. This is a game I always saw at GameStop and it looked cool, but I never bought it. The guys that made the Desert Combat mod for 1942 got hired to make this game by THQ. So they made this and then they made Homefront. And these days, who knows what they're up to? Probably regretting making Homefront. Whoa, it's bad George Bush drawing. Why would they not just use a real picture? Whoa, it's bad Bill Clinton drawing as well. Why would they not just use real pictures? Look at bad Putin. What? Why would they just use actual pictures of them? I, it says this is a weird choice already. The avian influenza hit in 09. I got taken out of school when there wasn't enough vaccine. Oh, whoa. They thought that the avian flu was going to be like COVID and it would cause a zombie apocalypse. They were like 10 years too early on that one. I thought this was just a Battlefield game. Is it a cyberpunk game? Oh, no. This is just some dumb backstory for why you're playing Battlefield 2. Objective. Use the bank gothic font. Look at Gears of War guy. They, that is just Gears of War guy on the left. That's him. Oh, no. Marcus Phoenix died. This is a statement by the developers. This is not Gears of War. They use XM8s in this game. It's very futuristic. Die. Oh, boy. The shooting sucks. It's one of these games where after like two feet, the bullets decided to go sideways somehow. Like the gun barrel is like three feet wide and the bullets just kind of randomly bounce around in there. What year was Battlefield 3? Was this game competing with Battlefield 3? Bad Company came out in 2000. Oh, it was competing against Bad Company. Oh, it's dead in the water. This game had no chance versus Bad Company. Go drone, go. Oh, I get to be it. Whoa. Oh, it's a suicide drone. That's kind of cool. That's kind of an advanced technique. Look out for my suicide drone. I did give him a fair warning. The Geneva Convention clearly states as long as one second before you detonate, you say, heads up. It's not a war crime. That's some Battlefield 2042 concept art right there. They probably just copy pasted that for their new game. All right. Oh, we got the aesthetic. We got like a little like futuristic looking Osprey type thing. Oh, okay, good. Do you have, did you copy the functioning game as well? Oh, I was, I was supposed to copy that. Yeah. Oh no, I forgot that part. Eh, whatever. People are still going to buy it. Put Santa Claus in the game. Beware my helicopter. It has missiles. What? I thought it was a suicide helicopter. It's got like a little firework canister. Pew pew. Ah, this is like a fire barrel, right? This one won't blow up. Oh, it does get knocked down. Okay, it's got physics. Yeah, there we go. Oh, baby, I know what I gotta do. Okay, can we attach C4 to the barrel? Knock the barrel down. Oh my God, you can. Just gotta roll this barrel towards the bad guy. Come on. Come on, please. No, he blew it up. Oh no, it's still by him. Okay, hang on, hang on. Switch to the detonator and blow him up. Oh, it worked. This is a great game. Holy crap. That is excellent. Doesn't matter how bad the game is. It's a great game. Just because that one feature is possible. Bet you IGN didn't mention that in their freaking review of this game. Only here do you get the hard hitting barrel based review content. Don't kill my tank before I can do my epic plan. And die. Oh, it works. Of course it works. I had no doubt in my mind. If you're making a Battlefield clone, that's the number one thing you got to make work. Charge. Ooh, sorry, idiot. See in hell. I should play Battlefield 2. Copy that. Bravo 5 Fox Trot. We're going to ODST drop into the combat LZ over. Do you copy? Let's jump on down there. Give them hell. Roger, Roger. Here we go. Ah, I thought they're supposed to give you a drop pod if you're ODST. We just parachuted like 10 feet. You're supposed to deploy from higher up so they can't see the plane. That's the point of doing that. Whatever. Let me into the outhouse. Oh, you can shoot the outhouse open and the door is on hinges and you can go inside and look in the toilet where there's a poopy texture. This game did not get the credit it deserves. If I get killed in World War III, I want it to be by a robot, not a guy. Being killed by a robot is much cooler. I do not wish to kill anymore. Sorry, drone robot. That's what you're designed to do. All you have is a gun. You can't do anything else. No, I refuse. I will not kill any more people for you. Sorry, drone, but friendly fire is disabled. Darn, foiled again. Through the window. Come on, through the window. Crouch jump. Crouch jump. Oh, hang on. It almost worked. Crouch jump through the window to secure your place in history is the best game. Yes, finally I've found it. The greatest game ever made. All right, bike, do you move? What? Come on, it has wheels. That is really disappointing. Oh my God, it's a nuclear bomb. Is that the nuke? How am I alive? I'm in a tank. Oh, we have nuke-proof tanks, of course. Did you really think you could play a modern game without the COD 4 nuke scene? Come on. Wait, he said I can leave my vehicle now. What? There was a nuclear bomb literally right there. I guess in the future, nuclear radiation doesn't exist. We did it, mankind. We defeated nukes. How'd you get the alpha build for 2042? This isn't the alpha build for 2042. Don't be ridiculous. Obviously, it's the final release. Whoa, they got impact font in Russia? I did not know that. That's cool. 
Do they got Bank of Gothic in Russia? That's the real question. We gotta stop that nuke from launching. If it launches, then probably nothing will happen, considering the track record nuclear weapons have in this game. There we go. That ought to do it. Tell my family I thought of something cool to say. <laughs> Whoa, the enemy tank has a different gun. It looks slightly different from the first person view. This game should have sold a million copies, honestly. There's seven missions, unless you buy the DLC, then you get nine. Oh, there's DLC for this game? Aw, oh, man. That probably got taken offline ages ago. How will I experience the full experience of Frontline's Field of War experience now? Also, if it is available, I will not be buying it. Everybody who's complaining about Halo Infinite microtransactions, like, oh, gaming didn't used to be this way. I know you bought an avatar customization from the Xbox store. We all did it. Get that crap out of Halo Infinite. Nobody wants to buy pineapple grenades for a million dollars, Microsoft. Meanwhile, I bought all the anime girl skins for Ace Combat 6. Comrade, here come the Americans. They are here to shut down a nuclear silo. W w wait a minute. Who are you? You are not Task Force 141. Uh, yeah, no, uh, sorry, guys. Um, they're, they're, they're busy in COD 4 with Zakayev. I'm sure you understand. Uh, so what? We are, we are not good enough to warrant your, your best task force? They sent in the B team against us? No, come, come on. No, don't be like that, guys. You know how Captain Price is. He always wants to go for the big dramatic finish. That one's gonna have a jeep chase in it. I mean, I, I guess you can fight us, but I, I feel kind of insulted, honestly. I was hoping to meet Ghost. I like that guy. Yeah, no, sorry. We don't have Ghost. I do have a recorded message from Roach, though. Ah, a recorded message from Roach? Sure, play it. I'd love to hear it. All right, here it is. Ready? That was it. That was the message. Get it? Because Roach can't talk. <laughs> we lost some good men in that bunker. Good thing we didn't send in Captain Price, though. This is definitely the kind of game that has, like, a promotional wallpaper. Like, you go on the website, and it's like, Download the Frontline's Fuel of War HD wallpapers for free! And you're like, anything else? Anything cool? And they're like, nah, not really. Just the game trailer and wallpapers. Historians will write books about this day, gentlemen. Now let's go out and make sure the straight dogs end up on the freaking cover! Yeah! Okay, hey, okay, we'll meet you guys on the other side. That was so epic, now I'm ready to go shoot Moscow. Wait a minute, that's not a soldier. Is that a civilian? Am I fighting civilians right now? Yeah, the civilians of Moscow have taken up arms to defend their home. Idiots. How dare you resist? How dare you resist the U.S. occupation of Moscow? If you guys came to D.C., we let you take it over. If you guys want to swing by D.C. later and conquer it, sure, go for it. We won't stop you. Yeah, I'm just a civilian guarding a train, pretty much. Uh. Looks like you just choo-choo choose to get shot in the head. The final boss is Mecha Putin? God, I hope so. That would take this game from like a 7 to a 9. If they want the score to be a 10 out of 10, the final boss has to be Mecha Reptar from the Rugrats game. Will these chairs blow up? Oh, they did. This game continues to delight. Even when the shooting gets boring after one minute of playing it, you can shoot an entire clump of chairs and they go kaboom. Killing people for office chairs? Look, if you sat in a bad office chair for an extended period of time, then you know that you would definitely kill a few guys to get a good one. If they offer me a steel case or like a Herman Miller and all I gotta do is like kill the entire country of Russia, I'd consider the offer. Uh, yeah, hi, just joined the call. Can everybody see me? Um, yeah, we, we, we can hear you, but we're not seeing your face. Oh, well, what? Oh, I don't have the webcam on top of the thing. I put it somewhere else. Yeah, we're, we're aware. Can you not film that, please? Why? What's wrong with where I have it? Here's a tactical plan. Put a nuke there, 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 there. Put some red barrels right there. <laughs> they have specific deployment plans for red barrels. Why can't you be the Russians in this game? They got much better tactics. The war is over. The USA now controls Moscow. All the Russian people are so grateful they got liberated from their own country that they don't fight back and the USA dominates the whole world the end. I may be a little biased, but that sounds like a pretty good story to me. Play some land. How's the land scene in this game? I'm playing TDM on hindsight. Whoa, it's got jets. This multiplayer seems like it would not be that fun, but also with bot support, it'd be very fun. Sadly, there are no bot support. So it looks like I gotta jump out of my airplane. Here we go. Do I have a parachute? I do have a parachute. Whoa. This game just keeps on surprising me. It's like a mediocre battlefield mod. Mediocre. Did you see the C4 barrel thing I did? That alone is worth a purchase. I mean, don't buy it. It's like 20 bucks on Steam. Definitely don't buy it. Can I be... Oh, I want to be the Russians. Whoa, the Russians have different guns. I don't know why that's surprising. That's like a default feature. But dude, I can use a new gun. Is it any different at all? It's exactly the same. So if the other faction has a million different guns, why can't you like pick these up in the campaign and use them? It would have added some much needed variety to the four hour campaign. The visual variety would have been appreciated. But as for me, I think it's time I stop playing this game. Right? Hang on. I'm working on it, there we go. 